Hey everybody, it's Alex here at Ai Chung Ching. That's right, I'm actually not far from our offices here. They're just across the street. But one thing I noticed when I moved here, this rather large development behind me. I was curious, I said to everybody, what's going on here? They said, ah, oh, it's just, uh, just some shopping malls going on. And it's not just one or two little shopping malls, it's five. That's right, and the size of this development is massive. Okay, how massive is it? Planning construction area. Get ready for this. 4.2 million square meters. Behind me here is the three malls, the Paradise Walk, the Joy City, and the Wu Yu. You're gonna learn how to say that properly, guys, I will. Central Park uh, Paradise Walk there by the Longford Group. These guys have got 600 square meters. That's how big the project's gonna be. These guys over to here, the Joy City guys, they're operated by Kafko. You may have heard of them, the China Oil and Foodstuff Corporation. They're putting 180,000 uh, square meters up there. The Wu Yu Plaza, you cannot imagine the size of it. From the front, it looks sweet and innocent, but I'm gonna tell you, you walk along the side of it, it's a couple city blocks long by Western standards. Anyway guys, that's me. My name is Alex, I'm here for Ai Chung Ching tomorrow. Well, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, the following day. What a day to open a shopping mall. Christmas Day to all you international viewers. Two of the, of the three that are in completion are cranking that door open. And I'm gonna just take a quick walk around this area because I'm seeing people driving with bricks all over the place, pipes all over the place. This place, within 36 hours, is gonna be greeting customers. They are trucking in stuff by the second here. These came in, uh, you can see all of this stuff. Now, this whole thing's not gonna be finished, guys, because it's five malls in total. Three are opening. Well, this, this hat's not really staying on. Let's go have a walk before they probably kick me out. Wow, I've actually never been down <laughs> on a construction site that uh, is within 48 hours of opening. I don't know how they're organizing all this, guys, but they are. Have a look at this, guys. Look at the grass that was dropped off here. Planting it in there. While they're doing that, they're slamming up trees. Can you imagine being a foreman on this this thing, or uh, a manager of this? Okay, we weren't invited here today. Maybe it's because I got my yellow hat on. They're allowing me into this construction site, guys. It's organized chaos. Hey, man, how are you? Uh, yeah. Hey, great to see you. How many workers do you think are down here? I don't know, maybe thousands. Thousands of workers, I would say. Here's the windows, guys. Okay, is it on straight now? Okay, so here we go. Heavy machinery everywhere, guys. You can hear trucks being turned on, engines being going. There's the entrance to the underground parking. That uh, goes four stories down. Should we go forward or better stay out of here? Nice. You gotta be extremely careful because anything could drop out of the sky at any time here. Wow, so neat to see. I'm very curious how these guys are gonna have this all cleaned up in, in two days, two days. but, yeah, yeah. but uh, they seem to have it done. I mean, there are so many workers going on here. And I bet you all of them have a certain mandate that they need to meet here in the next 48 hours, but just giving you guys the size of this, it is massive. And this is just one mall, okay guys? The heavy machinery, the weldsmen, the tradespeople, construction guys, windows installers, landscape planting guys the electricians are here the people that are getting the led screens to these towers you could just see the mammoth size of this infrastructure we're going to just see if we can advance a little bit more in here always fun to walk through these construction sites this looks to me as probably one of the main entrances here yeah. let's leave them because they got a lot more work than we have to do i'm going to bring this very camera to this area and let's see if they actually open the doors to this shopping mall. I don't know guys, it's gonna be very close, but uh, I don't know. And is there a sense of urgency down here? You better damn well believe these guys are going nonstop. So I'm gonna pan around one more time here and you guys get to see everything that's going on in a multi, multi billion dollar investment. I can now understand why Chongqing is where it is today and where it's going to be in the future. It was listed as one of the five international consumption centers in China. You guys can just have a look at how much investment is going on here. Let's see if we can sneak in there. I got the hard helmet on. I looked the part. 
The escalator's still gotta come into place. Wow. I don't know, guys. It would take me the better part of two days just to clean these floors here. This is last minute preparations on a mall that is less than 48 hours from opening. We got people cleaning the floors and making sure that they're okay. These guys are going full stop. Is this gonna be the information center when I get here? They're still building it. Now that looks like it's gonna be a, that could be a skating rink. A skating rink right across from where I'm working, wow. Let's come back here on Christmas day and let's see what we're headed for. What an exciting little day to be allowed to drop in there. But Galway and I are gonna get the hell out of the way of everybody. Cause everybody seems a little bit in a hurry here, don't you think? Pretty impressive here, guys. We're just showing you another day in China, another five shopping malls about to open. And the post office boxes aren't even in the, uh, the, the mall. So I'll, I'll leave. Thank you. Yeah. As we say, film first, ask later. Hey guys, good job, man. <laughs> well guys, it's a cold winter rainy night here in Chongqing, China, and I made you guys a promise. I would come back to a mall that was open. Now, guys, guess what? 36 hours later, unbelievable. How on earth did they manage to get this mall open in such fast speed? Christmas Eve shopping, look at the shoppers that are coming into this mall. This is incredible. You remember what these floors look like? Look at this beauty. How is that possible? Look at the floors. You gotta admire China. If they're not doubling down, they're tripling down and they are really trying to get this economy rocking and rolling here. Wow, what a beautiful mall. Let's go have a little stroll in one of China's billion dollar shopping malls, okay? Let's go. Yes, some of the big names are here, but it's also nice to see some of the Chinese brands and scroll around this mall and just take it all in that just over 36 hours ago, this was a skeleton. The big American entertainment giant is wide open here in China. That is one of the biggest Disney stores I've seen before. There is some excitement going on in the retail sector, guys. You know when you buy a car, you get that new car smell? There's the new mall smell here in China. They just took the wraps off this mega billion dollar project. Now this is the Wu Yu. Guys, I can't believe this. We just walked out here the other day and this was a bloody construction site. And in China fashion, they have lit up the outside to make it look absolutely stunning. Gives you an idea how beautiful the mall is. Let's skip across the street here. And wow, look at that. These guys are major players in the mall area. Let's go have a look at what is waiting in store. Look at the people here. Christmas day, sales are already on. This is great to see, guys. Fantastic to see. Actually, I, I don't really identify many of these brands, but that's a good thing. Christmas in China, everybody. Got the DJ out. Hello, hi. Very good, very good. You know you love that song. And let's see what's cooking on floor number two. And of course, we got the Western brands back here in China in the new malls. America's over here selling their stuff. What's the issue with China selling their goods? Anything is possible. Look at the consumers here, guys. Just look at the consumers. Oh, come on. Are you serious? This store is called Super for a reason. Little tube slides coming down here. Let's do a bit of fishing. That's all sand that the kids can play. Now this is a place of fun. The kids are working on some archaeological things. Hey, hi, hey. Parents playing with their kids, interacting, having fun games together. And this is really, really nice to see. Floor L6, L5. Ooh, the food and beverage. L4, that's where we are right now. Kids Corner L3, women's 
accessories, beauty, L2 lifestyle, L1, supermarket. Okay, so we are up at L5 now. Now I'm still in utter shock at how fast they got this place open. Wow, you can smell the food off. Oh, it smells pretty darn good. Not quite sure what that is, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm curious. Hello. Okay, let's go have a look at the cinema. Ah, oh, there's no way they're gonna open this thing on the 25th of December. And movie theaters are open. Okay guys, I'm gonna head down. This is all part of the Wuyu Mall uh, complex. Massive commercial complex. I'll see you guys out front. Well guys, to go with the theme, anything is possible. You got it. In 36 hours, I came back to this mall. Wow. Look at that, it's open. Thank you for joining. Hit that subscribe button, share, and thanks for coming out. Bye-bye.